Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 207 of My Time at Porsche with Yelen. It's been a while since I played uh, the time of recording the... Oops, what am I doing? At the time of recording the... Uh, there's been some new missions added about a week ago. Uh, missions for the Holy Brothers, some more stuff on the Porsche Times, and uh, bits and pieces with four officers, scraps. I'm supposed to be feeding my animals, not chatting with my animals. There we go. So it's, um, let the cat go. I, I'm not paying her enough attention, she's going to go talk to Gust. Fair enough, Pinky. I don't blame you either. Did I remember any fish for you at all? I have some nice plate fish. Yeah, there you go. Alrighty, and we'll talk to the piggy. I should probably talk to my husband, shouldn't I? You know, just in case that date symbol means anything there. Hey Gus, do you want Darling. to see me? How you doing? An order of bacon fish rolls. I don't know if I can help you with that. I haven't learned to cook it yet. Invitation. Yes, let's hang out together tomorrow. Ooh, 1400 to 1600. And she gave me money. Thank you. Well, I'm going to give him a hug goodbye and I'm going to head out the door to work. Where is he? Sorry to interrupt your reading, Gust. Have a really good day today and I will see you when I get home. See you. Pinkster, standing in my way will not stop me from going out the door. Ooh, it's taking a very long time to get outside today. It is the 22nd day of winter. There goes Mr. Ack. Let's have a quick chat with him. Hey! Hey, how you doing? There used to be so many hey. AIs walking around. Yes, yes, they did. And the best I can do to help you is give you a pot. I'm really sorry about that. You're welcome. Okay, that just the sight of young Lua running past me then reminded me. In the Civil Corps? Yes, warm fur. Reminded me that we have had some new missions added to the game, so maybe I should check my map. So we'll do that. I'll just grab my stuff. I know, I'm not ignoring Django. Actually, I am ignoring Django. Um, but that's okay. Oh, my taste survey. I was doing a mission for Mr. What's-his-face? Mr. McD. And look, oh, yes, there are things to do. All right. Let's go do them. Oh, we must be getting really close to the, um, the Christmas do as well. So hopefully, hopefully things are going. Do I have any other missions? Because I probably should check that. No, just the taste survey. All right, seeing as it's a lovely, bright, shiny Monday, let's go find ourselves a commission. Do I have roses? Hello. One to one. Hey, do I want to build a snowman with Emily. I'm rotting here at the Commerce Guild. Oh, no. Well, you should talk to um, Presley about that. I'm pretty sure he'd give you some time off to go build snowmen. Wow, I've always wanted this. You're really welcome. Now, what's on the board for me? Ooh, an S for Nora, a wicker basket, 1104 and triple one. 29 relationships points with Nora, which we don't normally get. 29, 1146 and 112. Wooden pillars though, yeah, all right. I know, I know. Oh, Pinky, that's how you get commissions, Pinkster. Every apprentice should learn that. Okay. Oh. I would love to be friendly with Higgins, but I don't think we've got the chance. Why don't you head home? I'm sure there's some room in your mansion that needs dusting. That is new for him. Wow, Higgins. Grumpy. Oh, uh, should we spar and see if there's any friendship chances with him? Yeah. I know, I'm going to get quite the reputation as a bruiser if I'm not careful. Ooh, I'm going to get bruised if I don't fight better than this. And Gus will be like, darling, you should stop picking fights with other builders. No, nope. see, no friendship points from beating the stuffing out of Higgins. How rude is that? Hey, Mr. Isaac, how are you doing today? 
Polly asked me a good question the other day. Oh, well, it's funny you should mention sparring. I just tried to make friends with Higgins and he wasn't in it a It really role. is a nice present. Thank you. You're welcome. Alrighty. Now, I saw a little blue exclamation mark and some blue stars. Let's go deal with them. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought the burger was great. Then again, I'm not <laughs> picky. I just wish there was more beef and veggies in there. Oh, and cheaper too. The price was way too steep. Uh huh. Cool. Thank you, Mars. Say, um, Polly, you've got a mission for me? Ooh, okay. You're kind of a charmer, aren't you? Think you could help me out with something? I just saw Toby and Jack having a heated argument over a kickball game. Toby pushed Jack and called him names, and then Jack ran off crying. It's not the first time either. I go round him up and teach him a lesson. So, what do you say? Can you go find Jack while I find Toby? Jack went toward Papa Bear's house. I doubt he made it too far. Sure thing. Great, bring him back here. I need to teach him how to deal with bullies. Oh, no. Hi. Hi, how Gail you doing? took care of me when no one else did. He did, and you know what? I happen to know that you adore coffee tables. Thank you so much. I really like it. I know. Have a really good day, Mr. Rousseau. I'm supposed to see someone else regarding beef burgers too, so I might just check that out. Let's go find, um, let's go find Jack. Wow, where is he? Poor little beggar. Oh, there he is. Hey, Jack. Jack? Uh huh. Yelan? Let's go back to town, Jack. Alice and Lucy must be worried about you. Toby's such a jerk. I'm never playing with him again. Jack, it's time to go back, okay? No, I'm not going back until Toby admits he's a jerk. Unhand me, you oaf. I'll let you go. But if you make me grab you again, there will be noogies. Okay, so I think we have an invisible Paulie in the scene. Okay, okay, sheesh. Hey, I found our culprit. What's the big idea, huh? Adults getting involved in kids' business seems a little creepy to me. Silence. The court of man is now in session. Toby, you stand accused of bullying, a high crime against manliness. How do you plead? Bullying? Jack, would you get a load of this guy? The furniture guy thinks I'm a bully. I've never been so insulted in all my life. Tell him what a great friend I am, Jack. Oh, no. Jack? Guilty. What? Jack, are you, are you crying? No. Take a knee, kiddos. It's time for you to learn a lesson in manology from none other than me, Polly, the Minister of Manliness. Friendship is one of the most important things in any decent man's life. You want to know something worth a lot less than friendship? Winning at sports. Yes, winning at sports is manly, but if all men dedicated their lives to sports and sports alone, well, our society would quickly crumble into sweaty and nutritionless dust. A true man supports other men in their own manly journeys, sports or no. Pushing your friend, insulting his manliness, calling him names. Is this really how you think a man behaves? If so, you're wrong. And you, Jack? Don't think you're off the hook either. Huh? But I'm the victim here. Be that as it may, running from your problems is quite unmanly. A real man is brave enough to tell people when his feelings have been hurt. Furthermore, a real man is brave enough to apologise when he's wrong. Now, Jack, demand an apology from Toby. Toby, apologise to Jack. Oh, no. Toby, what you did really hurt my feelings. and I think you should say you're sorry. Toby, you're right. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I just got mad. I'm sorry. Thank you, Toby. I know we're always going to be best friends. And I guess I could try to be, get better at kickball. I can teach you. And I won't be a jerk this time. That sounds great. Let's go play now. Well, that was difficult. Court is adjourned. Oh, poorly. That was manly. <laughs> ah, well, truth be told, I see a lot of myself in Toby and Jack. The only manly thing to do is try to offer a bit of guidance that I never had. Stay manly yourself out there, kid. Thanks for 
roll, play and round up for me today. You're welcome, Polly. Has, has he noticed? No, he, he hasn't. He's Polly. Huh. Hey, how you doing, boy? Miss Lucy gave us so much homework for tonight. Oh, what are you doing under a tree? Go do it. It's going to just, you know, stay in the corner and growl at you until you get rid of it. Hey, Toots. Hi. How you doing? Sometimes I miss Pa. But Mom loves me enough for both Aww. of them. Pretty sure that's the case, Goodbye. kiddo. See you later, mate. Wow, oh, that was weird. Hopefully Django won't be too mad at him. Oh, Martha. There you go. Hey, Martha. How you doing? McDonald's pepperific burger? Oh, I don't think it's as good as the one made by myself. The bread was just too hard. Maybe it's time to start oh, no. a burger business of my own. <laughs> oh, boy. I probably need to go talk to Mr. McD about this. He seems to have stirred up quite some mischief. Alrighty, let's go light up Mr. Lee, Minister Lee's life. Hey, Minister Lee. Hey. How you doing? The church has a very large botanic research center in Maidy. I know, right? Have you got anything new from them lately? No? Here, look. I have a wall line for you. thoughtful of you. I really like it. You're really welcome. Alright, that keeps him happy. Alright, let's go break Mr. McDee's heart. Actually, it probably would do him good. I mean, I think Django's going to offer to do to give him lessons, and maybe he can strike a deal with Martha about bread, because she's like really good at it. So, you know, and and Mars had some good pointers. Maybe maybe Mr. McD will be all right if he just listens. And keep my fingers crossed. You never know. Oh boy, here we go, Mr. McD. Howdy. How's everyone's opinion? What about Martha? Well, for Martha, the bread wasn't soft enough. I knew it. Just like her to say that. I've tasted a lot of the bread from her place. They're all too soft. Oh, this is not going to go what well. What did Mars say? <sighs> that the burger was too small? I'm weird to hear that. He can never be satisfied with the size. Oh, come on, Mr. McDavis. How about Django? He said it's hard to get it right and you're just wasting food. If if you want to learn from him, he said you're welcome anytime. Well, never. He must be scheming to steal my recipe. Mr. McD. Thanks for going through all the trouble. It's really difficult to satisfy everyone's taste. Uh-huh. <sighs> I'll think about it. Yeah, well, you should. You should talk to Martha about bread and you should talk to Django and accept his, his, his help. And honestly, you should pull your head out of wherever it's stuck. You know what else they fixed in that last update? It's starting to bug me. Apparently there's a pointy-nosed snowman as well. And he has a little glyph on the map. And 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 there's a, an icon for our big bad Yeti dude. So if there's map icons, I have to be able to find them outside, right? I think that'd be pretty good. That's not what I was after. Let's try again. The product storage. I to collect everything. Yes, we'll stack it all in here. Sort it through, yay! And then I'm going to just check for some of the things that didn't go over because I didn't have enough of them. Ooh, I've got relics to look at too. Alrighty. I'm not sure why I have 14 pepperific burgers on me, but okay. See, I would say they're not too bad, but that's just because whenever I eat them, I'm mega hungry. Uh, hmm. All right, let's just hit sort and sort everything up. That should make it a bit easier. All right, and we're going to look for our... Um, oh, no. Oh, no, cool. What we're going to do is look for our wooden pillars. They should be somewhere close to the end, usually. There they are. All right, that's our commission. Let's go take that away. We need to go find Miss Lucy. And then I think what we're going to do is investigate those icons on the map because I have empty spaces in my photo album that require pictures and I didn't all right let's grab the pigger this time come on pigger 
Let's go for a ride. I think it was for um it was for Petra, wasn't it? So if it's after six o'clock she'll be it's not after six o'clock. Wow, we're getting stuff done. Alrighty. Petra, Petra, I have your order. How you doing? Hi. Hey. You're really welcome. Oh, she became my best friend. Cool. Actually speaking of that, I wonder how we're going with that. So we have social. I have a lot of, wow, a lot of friends here. All right, so I need to do a little bit more work with Phyllis, Gail, okay, for everyone pretty much from here down. So Gail needs a tea table and uh, huh, can't do much about Ardit though. It'd be nice if he comes back. See, so we're working on our friendships. We're slowly getting there. I forgot to give people their buckets today. Do I have any on me? Yes, I have 13 buckets. Ha ha ha. And I need to sort out my relics. So, let's go check the relic box and the bucket box. And that was a new mission too for Paulie. I don't, don't recall seeing anything in the... Um, what do you call it? <laughs> In the notes about missions for Polly, so so it's either they they came through earlier and I just didn't get them because um, I hadn't reached the right friendship with him, or is Mr. Mick? Okay, let's go see Grandma Sophie first because she likes her bucket. She could soak her little feet in it, some nice warm water, and there you go. Emily loves my home cooking. I would like to come over for dinner sometime. That would be awesome. I have a bucket for you. It really is a nice present. Thank you. You're really welcome. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Alrighty, let's head this way. We will grab our pigger. Oh, whoops. Hey, Mr. Hello. McD. Look, after all that disappointing news you got today, have a bucket. How thoughtful of you. I really like it. I'm really glad. You should relax about Django. He's got a restaurant to run. He doesn't need your burger recipe. Alright, so we've done our commission. We are going to go look for snowmen. I was going to check on the map for them. So, uh, rumor had it. So there's the tree farm. Those are all, they all should be bats. All right, normally animals are yellow. There can't be that many people in the tree farm. I'm pretty sure they're bats. Let me just have a, it's my home. That's, huh, okay. I'm not seeing any little animal icons. Normally I see animal icons on the map. So what we'll do is we'll fly out and I'll just see if, um, whoops. Okay, I'll run into that, I won't be flying anywhere. And we'll, of course, we'll stop for mushrooms on the way. I mean, why wouldn't we? Shrooms are good for you. And they taste good too. Yeah, so those little blue dots on the map, they were probably the, um, the bats, the pan bats. So, oh, mushrooms, I like mushrooms, here we go, grab those, oh seriously, well it's not like I can just kind of reach down off the piggy and, um, and pluck them, okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to stop here and have a look at our map. I know he's out here somewhere. All right, so it's really curious. Normally I can see the yellow of monsters and in this case, they're all blue. So so maybe that's just a glitch after the last um, update. That's fine. Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. Get back on the PPU. Alrighty. 
So what I figured was maybe I can just roam about the countryside a little bit if, if I didn't find any icons on the map and just see if um oh strawberries I didn't know they were over here Ooh, so much to see and just see if um I could maybe see where different things were. Have I actually gone down to, I know I did level 100 with Talina. Um, I just can't remember if I've done it with this girl. Let's have a quick look and see. Oh right, nowhere near. Huh. What's my healing stuff like? Not a lot. Okay. All right, so I probably need to work on that as well. Come here, pig. Okay. All right, so what I was going to do was look for the icons for the snowman and whatnot on the map and um, and maybe find him, but uh, I'm not seeing any. See, around this corner, we're going to have a bunch of those frog things that throw their offspring at you, and they're not on the map either. See, they're up on the slope. See? Oops. And <laughs> now they're chasing me. So I was thinking, um, you know, maybe the snowman would show up the same way. What's that over there? Oh, whoops. <laughs> yep, I'm in trouble. I can hear them chasing me. Cool. Just gonna let it um, build up a little bit. So I'm thinking it's winter, and if there's a pointy-nosed snowman anywhere, oh, that looks like um, chamomile or something. Um, he'll be out, you know, in the barrens where people don't normally go. Well, oh, those are alligators. Now is not the time to run out of jet propulsion. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Ah, I know. Oh, it would be so exciting to see some of these ruins opened up. I'm all the way back over here. Oh, there's a barrier? Okay. Clearly I can't go that way. I was really hoping for a minute I could explore there. Tree farm. Heliop. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there's another barrier here? There is two. How rude is that? Maybe, maybe it goes away over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw some more mushrooms and some pan bats. Oh, there's mushrooms. Grab that. I'll zip along this way. Grab these. Those are the ones I saw. Alrighty, it's 21.45. I might just head back home. I'm a little disappointed that my map's not showing monsters. But um, I'm pretty sure that's a little bug that, that came in with the last update. So I'm sure they're working on it. Um, yeah. Alrighty. It's 22.17. I don't think I've got a date with Gus today. But I do have one tomorrow. So why don't I go and do some mining up in the iron mines. And uh, find some more relics. So we might do that and just end out the day doing that. So because I'm trying uh, slightly longer episodes, we'll do two days for Yelen, and we'll just see how that goes. It'll bring us up to how long the Talene episodes are, so it shouldn't be too hard. F for find me treasure. Yes. R. I am a pirate in minor form. Ooh, what's that? Well, 
there's there's a few bits here let's get to it uh, probably will help if I equip my drill You know I'm going to have to run all the way back up here to get to the other bit, don't you? Ooh, I found the bottom. Alright, let's just jog back and grab this parts box so it doesn't drive me crazy. Watch where I'm stepping so I don't fall over. That would kind of be good. There it is. Okay, now. Wow, I ran an awfully long way. Let's try and get a bit closer to these things. Oh, fine, this will do. Another parts box, and we'll have to mine up for the soldier with the lance, I think. Oh, Gus should come down and keep me company. I've got a book on structural aesthetics for him. He might like that. Uh, that was a wriggle, if you're wondering what I did to get out of that. Excellent. Tempering liquid, always good for um, hardened clay and strengthened glass. And we're going to need strengthened glass to make fish tanks with. Because we want to have our fish breeding thing to happen. Here we go. Oh, I always said I was looking forward to some more content. So, and I forgot to check the newspaper. Alrighty, guess we're looking for more treasure. Oh no. Oh wait, there we are. There's some. Let's go that way. Alright, we'll go for the power lamp piece first. And then we'll then we'll go down. Look at all this iron. Alright, well we may not get time to go down, that's okay. We'll just get the power lamp piece. Alrighty. It's a spring. Good for making um, training dummies with folk-like and arm stretches. Folk-like Arlo and uh, other people who use them. Can I get to this? I'll be pushing it. Whew. Alrighty, I think I'm about to fall over. Oh man. Oh no, I was going to mark that on the map. <laughs> there was a bunch of treasure. Alrighty, into day two. Day 23. Winter solstice. What? What do you mean winter solstice? We can't have winter solstice. It's a date day. Ah, oh, well, there goes my date. I forgot. I, I Wow, I thought I had a few more days before that was going to happen. All right, check my missions. It's just telling me I cleared them. Check my skill points. What's that? Ooh, my endurance gets better. That's probably a good idea. Um, I've already proposed... That's kind of cute, but I am getting into trouble for um, down in the mines. So why don't I, um, I don't know, what's that? It's fishing. Extra production. See, Gust would appreciate that. That's less, I know I'm letting my spouse influence my skill decisions. That's disgraceful. All right, so the one thing we need to know about Winter Hot Pot is we're going to need a ton of ingredients. Uh, which is going to be a pain. So what I'm thinking of doing is we'll just sort all. Uh, I'm going to keep... Alright, this is... Uh, Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, now I'm, now I'm kind of at a loss. Okay, what we're going to do is, because the winter solstice thingy is going to start, uh, badges, chips and tapes. Let's have a quick look and see if there's any more tapes. There's some chips. It's a number two. Oh, I've got my hopes up. For a minute I thought it was a number one. 
Right, I'm going to drop that in there as well. Uh, let's go clothing and weapons. I need an empty slot. Clothing and weapons. Because I've got these over here. Old tools. Oh no, that's Martha's Feather Duster. Can I give that away? Alright, Gust likes these. Someone else likes these. No one likes that. Someone likes this. Someone likes this. And someone likes it. Okay, so these are all gifts um, I can give to people. I'm just going to dump those over there. Oops. In my crafting box. I'm going to go nuts later and say, who put these in here? Alright, we're going to keep this down here. That's a gift. We'll hang on to that. We're going to need it. Not sure what I'm doing with calves inside my uh, thing, but there you go. That's also a gift. That's for Mint. That's for Papa Bear. That's for Arlo. Uh, that's for... I forget. That nice boy at the uh, thing. <sighs> okay, maybe I should go back to bed now. Uh, structural aesthetics. I think Gus likes that, so we might pop that in there. And I know Minister Lee likes that. So, all right, so seafood paella. I forget who likes that. Someone likes it. I don't remember who. Let's just dump that in my food box. Rather go a bit nuts. There we go. Food. Oops, cancel. Don't want to split stack. Um, that's an aroma apple. We'll keep that. ingredients here we go oh now this is this is where it gets tricky all right so those are gifts okay so what I'm gonna do is very quickly just dump all of these over in this box and when I'm whining later about oh my god I can't find anything you can just yell at me and tell me that's because I was silly and stuck it all in one thing right Dump that over there. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to go into my ingredients thing. So the thing with winter solstice, I'll just put all my tools up here as well. The thing with, actually that's a daft idea. The thing with winter solstice is we're going to need space to put food. And we're going to want to not um, have a lot of this stuff in the other thing because uh, it's easier to get to our ingredients if they're all in one section. So that's a little bit more space. So we're going to need we're going to need mushrooms. Um, I'll, I'll take some of these. They look all right. Take some coconut. Take some rock salt. Uh, take some prawns. Let's not take Duvo's peppers. Something tells me people won't be real happy if I if I stick some of that in their hot pot. There's hot, and then there's oh my goodness, what nasty person put that in the stew? I'm pretty sure no one's gonna. Oh look, I'll put the milk in there just in case. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take a banner fish. People like their fish. They like their mushrooms. Uh, sometimes they ask for nori, sometimes they usually ask for some of that. They usually ask for some of that. Where's the salt? Oh, seriously. I have to go get the salt out of the other box. Uh, salad dressing I'll put over here. That's sugar. Someone asked for snake meat one year. I'll take it just in case. I'll take... Have a look in our fishing box in a minute. So I'm just going to take some of these veggies. All right, when I go nuts looking for my worms, they're, they're, they're in here. Uh, I'll take take some of that. I don't have a lot of ingredients. What's wrong with me? Alrighty. Actually, while we're here, ruins. Let's go, ruins. Oh, okay, so I didn't have any new treasures. Doesn't look like it. That's fine. All right, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, let's, uh, it's 7-Eleven, it's not quite time to panic yet. Hmm. I mean, it, it could be. See, he's, wow. 
there's an important letter in my letterbox from Lua. Hey Yelen, I usually try and stay out of other people's business, but this kind of involves me. I was hoping you would go help Gail out at the Amber Island Cave. You know, where I hang out most of the time. We'll be around to stop by any time. Pick up time before the second of the first month of year three. Okay. So I'm going to accept that. I can have my Christmas and then we can go out and deal with that. Um, missing person. Oh, wow. Oh, man. So today's a bit of an interesting day then. I'm just going to go grab my salt out of the, um, out of the factory. Check my fish for need of feeding because who wants to starve them on celebration day? Uh, we'll just very quickly zoosh in here. No, not you. Come here. Collect all of that stuff. Sort all of that stuff. Aha, uh -huh. grab my rock salt back. Thank you. Grab my salt. Thank you. Grab my meat back because I'd be like, I'm sure I had meat. Grab some eggs. They're always useful. Is that where Paulie's manly tea went? Goodness me. Alright, let's make sure I haven't derped anything else into this box. Nope, that looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I'll pop the lettuce down there. Someone is going to ask for lettuce in the hot pot. I have no idea why they do this to me, but they do it every year. It drives me crackers. Um, I don't know, let's put some of these a bit closer. So there we go. I'm going to have some things to throw into the hot pot and hopefully it'll be enough to make it nice and spicy for them. Alrighty. It's also a holiday day, which means that gifts are worth twice as much. So, um, you know, I would take the piggy with me. Why do I have so many markers on my map? Oh, whoa. It never rains, but it pours. I need to ride the piggy. We're going to go out to the, uh, out to the tree farm and see what that's about. Oh. Hey, Yelen, I was looking for you. I heard you've just finished the lift to the Western Plateau. Good on ya. Yeah, do you need anything? What? A guy can't congratulate someone on a job well done? He's got to want something in return, huh? I just wanted to tell you about something on the Western Plateau I think could be very uh, beneficial-like for the both of us. Ever heard of a lava rock? You mean an igneous rock? Uh, yeah, whatever, bookworm. Point is, is, if you've got to igne ignea lava rocks, I can make a special dish I heard about, a seaside delicacy called lava grilled fish. Word on the street is you mix a couple of lava rocks in with your charcoal and you can actually see the moisture from inside the fish being banked out and the fish ends up tender, yet delightfully chewy. There's nothing else like it and I don't plan to stop with the fish, no, no, no. I can start cooking all kinds of things with them. So what do you say? Can you hook a hulu brother up with a few lava rocks? Like, let's try something new. Sure, Dawa. <laughs> Crumbs. Right on. I think I'm learning already. Already here in that fish sizzle. Boy, you're in for a treat. Oh boy, I'm in for a really busy couple of days. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure. How much time have we got? 8.28? Oh man, I'm in trouble. Here we go. Let's dish along this way. Pigster! Oh man, I did not feed you this morning. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Look, here's what I got for you. An aroma apple. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Be good. I probably should park this because I'm knowing me, I'm going to run someone over. That would be bad. Alrighty, it's 8.56. Toby. Hey, Yelen, what's up? You know what? I've realised something's missing in my life. Oh no. Like what? Good question. I thought about it a lot and finally realised I need to get a sword. Oh no. I used to have one, but Miss Lucy <laughs> took it. <laughs> what is she going to do with it anyway, huh? She wouldn't be acting so tough if I had my sword. But see, now you're here. I, you can make me another one. That's easy for you, right? Sure, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Woohoo! Finally, an adult who actually understands me. Ah, besides, I know that you've been out practicing with Mr. Django, Toby. 
and and make it a hardwood sword not some dinky or pra <laughs> practice sword i should start charging you kid uh one hour till the solstice hot pot hi arlo how you doing hi. Well, i hope nothing bad happens today i want to enjoy this food speaking of food how about an appetizer here you go it really is a nice present thank you you're really welcome all right sonia Hello. i have not forgotten you Happy solstice. this is so much fun are you having fun uh -huh, i would be maybe if people didn't keep giving me chores but i'm loving the new content here we go it's always nice to get your favorite thing while on holiday sure really welcome i'm glad you're happy okay now who else whoops i'm running away from the exclamation mark where is he Miguel. hey hey elaine you haven't left porsche any time in the last week have you Ah uh, no i haven't left since i moved here what's up I received a telegraph from the Mayor of Walnut Groove yesterday and she said someone was seen coming from our direction in an unregistered boat. They're not upset or anything, we're just trying to figure out if it was indeed one of us portions out there the other day. Huh, maybe it was just a floating object, everyone in town seems fine. That's probably what it was. Oh well, would you mind doing me a favour? Speaking of Walnut Groove, a custom training dummy was delivered to me from there today but it looks like it was supposed to go to Wooa. Could you take it over to him? Sure. Okay, you know what? I'm a little bit concerned. Let's just hit the uh, the mission box and just check for some... Whew, okay, I only have 17 hours, not until the second day of spring. All right, so I need to move my tushy on that one. Lava grilled fish. Okay, six days is good. Six days is good. Okay, so this is my urgent thing. All right, how likely am I to miss the solstice hot pot if if I go check it out? 17 hours. I should be okay. All right, let's let's not uh, deal with that. Let's hit M for map. Oh. All right, talk to Wooa. Here you go. Hey, haha. Wooa, what's going on? Oh, hey, just doing some exercise. Thanks for the dummy. I didn't know you were much for exercise. Not before, but I really am now. Now that the engine on my boat is broken, I'm going to need to buff to paddle all over the coast. Just the other day, I fell asleep out at sea, then woke up to find myself off the shores of Walnut Grove. Oh no. That's when I first realised my engine was broken. Talk about rotten luck. So I paddled non-stop for who knows how long. Next day, my arms felt like gelatin. Painfully abused gelatin. So I'm getting my arms in shape. What if I drifted all the way to Seaside instead? Oh man, you're out at Walnut Groove, so you're the one everyone's worried about? Huh? Who's worried about me? The mayor of Walnut Groove thought a portion might be lost at sea. Ha! Huh, how about that? People really do care. Brings a tear to this old sea dog's eye. You should fix your engine. Paddling around in the ocean will make people think you're in danger. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe you're right. I really didn't want to get into shape anyway. Alright then, one who builds, I need a new engine. Pronto, can you help me out with that? Oh. Yeah, me and my big mouth. Sure thing. My previous engine was a mishmash of three advanced engines and one small engine. My boat will be seaworthy again if you get them for me. Okay, that's uh cool. All right, how long have I got until? Whoops, where's this thing? I think I've got about eight minutes. What is that big blue marker on my map for? Let's just right click. Okay, it was me doing derpy clicking and there's a couple of interesting points over here as well. Okay, nice. Pretty good. Okay, let's go with this. Gust wants one of these. No worries. Let's sish that down into here. Grab that. Get out of there and... Oops. Eight and throw. Oh goody, I don't have one of those, and one of those, a ginger, I have a ginger. Alrighty, bubble fish, no. Aha, uh -huh, I do have a mushroom, what's, what's going on here? Ah, no, that's the wrong button. Alright, I'm going to put that down there instead of the lettuce. Hit myself a six. 
Let's put that in. Oh, I think I missed someone. Of course now Mr. Isaac wants letters in the stew. What is that about? Oh, five. Awesome. Petra wants lettuce in the stew. What is it with lettuce in the stew with these people? Alrighty. Pumpkin. I have pumpkin. Where'd the pumpkin go? There you go, Alice. Pumpkin for you. Pumpkin for Emily. And meat for whoever that was. And big red mushroom for Remy. There we go. Who else have we got? I don't know. A prawn? I, you know, I've got a prawn in here somewhere. Give me a minute. Uh, six. Toady. Two hours to my date. Oh no. I forgot I had a date with Gust. Yeah, because this is not going to be a busy day or anything. Here we go. Uh, okay, Albert. Minister Lee wants one of these. And someone wants meat. That's Django. Gotta to listen to the man who invented the stew. Rock salt, I do have some of that. Uh, meat. Uh, I don't have one of those, I only have Emperor ones. Oh, uh, one hour to my date. Oh no. Here I am throwing in the wrong food. Oh, whoops. I didn't have the right button highlighted. Prawns. Okay, who else? I have an egg for a Molly. Dolly, one of those. Who else have I got? And away we go. The date with Gust ended unexpectedly. Oh good. That's that's because basically we've got an event on. I completely forgot when I accepted the date. Oh, chilies. I can do chilies. Ah, uh, that's in five. I can't do corn. I can't do chicken. Sorry, Dr. Zhu and Higgins. I can do eggs. And I can do lettuce. Uh, on a six. All right, who else? Salt. I can do salt. That's on a seven. Okay, who's next? All right. I don't think that would have made the the achievement, but it definitely was a good stew. Alrighty. Oh man. Snowball fight. Let me just zoosh over here. Ow. Okay. That that looks like hopefully I can get back to that later. Let's do some sprinting, get this snowball fighting done. So the Wu were brothers. I love it. This like I said, this content was added just about a week ago and this is the first time I've gotten to play uh, since then. So Yes, let's do the snowball fight. Well, someone's going to stick their head out. A little bit slow. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. What do you call that, guys? Yeah. 
If you don't want to get hit, Oaks, don't stick your head up over the stone. What is it with you? Here we go. Oops. Mars. Smarty. Ditto with you. Alrighty. Alice, here you go. Have a snowball and merry solstice. <laughs> oh, come on, Remy. Carol. Wooa. Oaks. Uh, Albert. Django. It was very nightly of you. There we go. That's a bit of a better hit rate than I normally manage. All right. So if I remember rightly, we have to go and visit a... Um... Yeah, no, I didn't think we were still snowballing. I have to go and visit um, the island. And then I have to go... I have to go and check out... Whatever's... Okay, so I can't deal with that. Okay. Oh. All right. When I leave my pig. So hopefully those little interesting orange circles will be there tomorrow. I think I chose the, exactly the wrong day to activate this, the quest. Oops, I forgot to take my picture. We'll get, get the town photo taken. Let's get that done for this year. It's also pretty. Oh, it's one of the better shots. All right. Normally I'd run around at this point and give everyone gifts, but I think I've got a bit of a timer running, so maybe I should just head on over here and deal with whatever's going on at the bridge. Shh, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Lua. Oh no, I can't find him anywhere and I'm starting to get worried. Care to help? Sure. Fantastic, I'll follow you. Let's check up by the cave first. No worries, mate. Uh-oh. The game has frozen. Oh no. Usually he's right here. Uh, do you get the feeling we're being watched? Don't be silly. Amber Island has been safe for years. You're not suggesting... Some kind of monster took him, are you? My, my word, you builders have such wild imaginations. Ha! Huh. Uh, hi guys. Gotcha, Lua. Why do you keep hiding from us? I, I wasn't hiding. I was here the whole time, guarding the cave. I saw people walk past me a few times. I didn't want to embarrass you or anything, so I just didn't say anything. You mean, you were right here in front of the cave the whole time? Yeah, my brothers think my shyness makes me totally invisible at times. Well, nobody notices me, and that just makes me want to be quieter. I guess everything about me is just really forgettable. That's really sad, Lua. We just need to spruce up your appearance a bit, that's all. Those blue clothes, I mean, they're perfect camouflage. I've heard certain kinds of jewellery can make a person really stand out. Some kind of magic jewellery, Mr. Mayor? Well, maybe not magic per se, but Chiba told me once about some kind of rare pearl. If Luba wore something with one of those, I'm sure everybody would notice him. Huh. I'll go ask Chiwa about it. Okay, let's have a quick look and see what time frames we've got for these things. Six days, six days, six days. Whew, pressure's off. We're good. I'm starting to feel a bit exposed without my sword. Let's let's just put our equipment back where it needs to be. Sword in the one, chainsaw in the two, fishing thingy in the four, and the driller in the three. There we go. Speaking of drillers, oh my, is that crystal? I know, solstice day and an abandoned date. And I'm like, ooh, crystal, how pretty. Okay. Let's not run these two guys over. Lua vanishes. Wuwa loses. Huh, why do I have a... Oh, because I've got to go talk to Chiwa. Where's Chiwa? 
Speaking of which, there's Granny Sophie, Hello. and she could do with a bucket. Happy. Oh, what was this holiday? Winter solstice, Granny Sophie, and I have a bucket for you. Oh, thank you so much. I really like it. You're really welcome. All right, there's Chiwa. Let's go chat with him. A magic pearl guaranteed to make someone the most attractive person in the world? Yes, it's real. I read about it in a hundred truths about fishing, so it must be true. You want to find it for yourself? Uh, I mean, I'm not saying you need it, just... I was thinking of getting it for Lua. Oh, right, right, right. I, um, I wonder if the pearl could balance out his condition. Well, according to the book, there's a way to extract the pearl from a golden salmon's belly. Ew. If I catch some and you catch some, I think it can be done. What do you say? I'll find a way to get a few. Alrighty, what's my time frame on that one again? Alright, we're good. Two golden salmon. Well, I guess seeing as we're here, Hello. Mr. McDee needs his bucket. I never got why people want to do a big hot pot. Well, because it's a tradition and cheeseburgers are not. And you need to, you know, go talk to people about yours. Thank you so much. I really like it. You're really welcome, Mr. Isaac. How you another doing? Another holiday, another boisterous affair. I know, but I have a nice quiet bookmark for you. Here you Thank go. you. Never expected you to give me this. You're welcome. Hey, Mint, how hmm. you doing? Perhaps because I grew up in an orphanage, the food there was always so tasteless, but it's what I'm used to. The oh, that's a shame. Look, I don't have your favorite food, but I do have a plant for you. A present? Thank you. You're really welcome. Alright, I don't have a box for Jack. I do have a slingshot for Toby. Toby, here's a slingshot. I love this! You would, you little troublemaker. Hey Phyllis! Every city has its own way of celebrating this day. Uh-huh, and I brought you one of these. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. You're welcome. Okay, Lucy, do I uh, I don't think I've got a small dagger for hey. her. Hey, how you doing? Kids are having so much fun. I know, right? Here you go. Uh, I have for you one of these. Thank you. I never expected you to give me this. You're welcome. Remy. Can't remember what if I've got what Remy needs. Hey, Mr. Lee, here you go. Looking at this warm scene brings it. I'm sure it does. And for you, I have got some warm light it really is a nice present thank you you're welcome Alrighty, ginger how Hello. you doing a celebration always brings a smile to my face <laughs> oh no now well, hopefully the treatment we've got going will work for you what about some roses this time i like it thank you, you you're don't have very to many gifts though well if you would go for a walk with me without me having to date you we would definitely do that Oh, I forgot you can do this with these crazy guys. Group photo! <laughs> these guys are great. And then we've got these ones over here. I forget, every year I forget to go around and find the group photos. Uh, usually... Okay, so there's those three in the square. I wonder if there's any more. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, so there's just these three in the square that we can do photos on. And I, I can't get to any of these orange circles because they're all inside. So I'll have to wait till tomorrow for that. They look intriguing, so that'll be pretty cool. So next episode, we're going to investigate the orange circles and just see what they're about. I think I think I forgot to get myself commission. It's a bit late now. All right. Do I have any pumpkin pie on board? No. Oh, that's right. Because I forgot to buy enough. You know what? I think I'm going to spend a quiet evening with Gust. From Gail. Thanks for participating at the snowball fight. Here's a little something, something. Hope you had a great time. I do. Thank you, Mayor. Cool. All right. Hey, Gust. 
Scraps, I haven't fed you yet. I know, right? Uh-oh, where'd I put the dog food? <gasps> Hang on, someone told me Scraps likes aroma apples. Let's test this theory out. I had a dog who liked apples once, so this is not... <gasps> he really does like them. There you go. Where did the pinkster just run off to? Hey, Brett Cat, what are you doing? Now, uh, before you go anywhere, Missy, you need to have your supper. Here, got some nice blade fish. Alright, that's pretty good. Oh, there, see? One happy kitty, one happy puppy. And I think it's way past my bedtime. Oh, man. Let's get some sleep. And I will check you next time. You guys take care out there. If you like the episode, please hit like. And if you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll see you later.